The Honda Power Toronto University team has won Formula Student for three of the past four years. They're the crew to beat and I asked team manager Daniel to explain what it takes to build a car and to transport it halfway around the world. Because we've been doing it for about six years now, we're quite comfortable in shipping the car over. Uh, really all we have to do is find a good uh, shipping company and trust in them and we've been able to find one so it hasn't been too difficult to ship our car over. And he's part of the remit for this competition to raise money for sponsorship, for transport and things like that? Oh yes, uh, we have to raise all our funds from uh, private corporations in order to pay for the car and to attend the competitions themselves. So just like a proper Formula 1 thing then? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the car. I understand you've got a Honda bike engine at the back there. Yeah, we have a Honda motorcycle engine because we found it's the easiest one to modify and drop. We put a dry sump system to it that we've been using for the last six, seven years. We also do internal work on it. We remove fifth and sixth gear because we never really use that on track. We do our own intake system, exhaust, uh, fuel injection system and we uh, get another ECU for the engine itself. Wow. So how many people are working on this? On the team, there's 26 members back in Toronto. Uh, we've brought 16 members to the competition today. And you're all also doing university degrees as well? Yeah, uh, we're all doing university degrees. Most are mechanical engineers, but there are a few aerospace engineers, uh, electrical and computer science. But this program here is purely volunteer. We don't get any credit from the university itself. So how do you find time to fit this alongside the studies? I mean, how many hours does it take to build something like this? Uh, senior members can put in 40 hours a week, very easy, uh, after their classes. Uh, the team goes all year round, 24-7. Summer months, we're in the team shop. Uh, the team just never stops. So not much time for drinking and all the things that students are supposed to do? Oh, we always find time for that.